Hey guys, I'm Eijin this. Uh, in this episode, I wanted to talk a little bit about hair color in Japan. So if you look at my hair now, um, you might notice it is a little different than the hair color that I've had in my previous, uh, nearly all of my previous videos here on YouTube. I'm going to put up a picture of an event that I went to, that I participated in a TEDx event here at Shimane. And my hair color was really <laughs> way lighter than it is right now. And actually, even before that, it was even lighter. I had bleached my hair, and it looked just so yellow, so golden yellow, and a little crazy. Actually, I was bleaching my hair to go to a nice whitish silver. I thought that would look good on me. I actually want to tell a story before I get into this, the whole like looking at society thing. Uh, as a, in terms of hair color, my friends. I made some great international friends here. My international friends. Uh, I looked at. Some Japanese guys, and they had like different hair colors, and I thought, you know, that's really cool. I wish I could change my hair color like that. And my international friends were like, "Oh my gosh, you totally can. You totally should. It'd look great on you." And they showed me some pictures. Like, you you can just Google like uh, male silver hair, Google image that, and you'll find plenty of great examples. People with actually my facial structure and body type with silver hair, and it looks so classy and cool. And I'm just like, "Whoa, this is awesome! I really want to try this." So my friends encouraged me, and I was like, "Okay, okay." Bought some bleach. They helped me bleach my hair, and it was so yellow. It was so crazy, and actually really long. I cut my hair too. Uh, I don't know if you can if you can notice it. And anyways, I bleached it right before I went to the hospital. So here's a picture of me in coming out of the hospital. Um, it's the day I was leaving, and I took a selfie with the hospital building in the background, and you can see my hair is really blonde. Anyways, my mom eventually found out <laughs> and got so mad at me. She got very, very upset, very mad at me, and I will try to explain in this video exactly why. It all has to do with perception. Perception of uh, men changing their hair color in America and in Japan, the perception between the two is fundamentally different. In this video, I'm mainly going to focus on um, changing your hair color as it relates to Japan and Japanese society. Many, 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 many people in Japan alter their hair color in some way, shape, or form. Probably not as much as people do in America, but plenty of people do. Even in this kind of country-ish area that I'm in, in Shimane, so many people change their hair. Uh, and usually it's not too drastic, usually it's just, you know, a bump up. Everyone, everyone in Japan, all Japanese people, really share a lot of similar characteristic characteristics, um, outward appearance-wise. When you hear Japanese, you typically think of straight black hair, which is basically all Japan. <laughs> and most Japanese will dye it like a dark brown, maybe like an ash brown or something like that. Very rarely will you have you know, like blue or pinks or reds, that's more American, I guess. You will see some Yankee uh, youth, Japanese youth who maybe dye their hair orange or blonde or maybe like a mix of like a dirty blonde, something like that. Yankees, by the way, in Japan, the word Yankees, kind of like a youth that's maybe seen as a troublemaker or a hooligan. Maybe that's the best translation for it, hooligan. And actually, two of my closest friends, two of my closest Japanese friends here, have both dyed their hair, and they both dyed it a shade of uh, dark brown. And it's very common here, and to young people, people my age and even younger, around my age, they think it's cool. It really is cool, and, it, and it's just, it's different. One of the ways that Japanese people can stand out in this super homogenous society is by changing their outward appearance, and uh, usually that's, you know, through their hair, their hair color. So to stand out, really, in Japanese society, if you are Japanese, you, one of the easiest, most practical ways is just change your hair color a little bit or even change the style. And changing your hair color is just as normal for men as it is for women here. In America, however, <laughs> not so normal. American men 
typically don't change their hair color. When you change your hair color in America, it's typically seen as a, as a sign of expression. You're expressing yourself. And the traditional role for males in America, the traditional role, um, is one that men aren't really that expressive. They don't really show emotion, they don't really try to express themselves. If a man does try to express himself or is very emotional, he's seen as queer. And if a man in America does decide to change his hair color, especially just a color that's not a natural hair color, like silver or blue, something like that, pink, <laughs> they are typically seen as queer. And I would argue that, indeed, most men in America who do change their hair color, especially to a really crazy color, are queer. However, I don't roll that way, and I am in Japan, a country where men can change their hair color and not be thought of as queer. Uh, so, I decided, why the heck not? You know, I thought it'd be a great idea, that'd be fun, you know, it's while I'm here, at least. My mother, however, <laughs> thought the opposite. She doesn't want me to be seen as queer homosexual. And I understand her thinking, but I also understand that she is ignorant to life in Japan, she's ignorant to Japanese society, and she doesn't really know how things work here, or that there is a difference. And you know, I didn't really argue with her about changing my, my hair color back to a brown. Uh, the boring brown I've had for 21 years. I didn't argue with her because I knew I... Well, first of all, I knew I can't change her mind. My mom is very stubborn. No matter what I would tell her, she would just beg and plead, change it back, change it back, change it back. So I did. No arguments there. I realized that she... I realized that my mom, most of my family actually, would not be open to really learning about another culture the way I do or accepting another culture the way I'm trying to do. And it's not like I was going to return to the United, to the United States with a crazy hair color. Um, this is, it was just really for fun, just while I was in Japan, while I can, could do it and, you know, not have my sexuality questioned <laughs> by society. And of course, when I would return to the United States, I would, you know, change back to a brown. But yeah, that's kind of my hair story. I hope you learned a little bit about hair color in Japan and maybe even in the United States. If you guys have any questions, comments, or even concerns or suggestions for future episodes on this channel, please leave them in the comment section below. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, do whatever. I don't care. Hey, that rhymes. Anyways, peace guys.